Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and we're gonna be taking a look at a new game called Small Land Survive the Wilds. Basically, you're small, now survive. It's kind of like grounded. It will be on Steam. It is coming out on March 29th. I don't know how much it's gonna be. Thank you to the developers for sending me a key, and let's get started. I am Cage848. Create. Oh boy, okay. So uh, body type, you got head, stuff like that. I'm gonna go through this really quick and try and make, basically when I did my test game, I didn't pay attention to any of this. I just wanted to figure out the game mechanics. So let me take a couple minutes here and make something that's gonna look, I don't know, maybe cool, we'll see. So I changed a couple of things like his hair and his, uh, the color on his antenna and we are gonna confirm and then we need to make a game. That's my test game. We're gonna delete that world. And we're going to, nope, nope, you got to make a test game. Well, you can actually, I guess you could just start and it would prompt you to make a world, but I'm going to do it like this. Um, season one, create and start. And basically the king, uh, like something about his wife getting sick or something, you got to help. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep. Queen is L, like help, please. Okay. Fair enough. I can help. I will help save the queen. As you pass through the game, you're going to see these little owls and they are going to give you hints and stuff on how to play the game. Like one of the hints they're going to give you is that the V key does this, which is pretty cool. And that is going to allow you to see resources that you can get. Like see right here, the twigs and everything. Uh, if you, I find if you like, there's two ways to get, there's actually two steps to getting resources. You click the, you click the minus E, it, it, your default is going to be F just so you know, I switched mine to E. You're going to press whatever the button is and you're going to, this stuff's going to fall on the ground Then you can pick it up. I find if you just hold down the button, you just get everything instantly and it's much, much easier. So this guy did wave me down, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to him and see what's up. Uh, Vanguard, yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, next. Go, you can pause the video if you want to read all this. I've already read all of it. There you go. So he does tell you about the owls. So you just click on the owls and... I'm going to like not read all the owl stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like when you get the, when you get all this information from the owls, it goes into this thing right here. So you can look at it later. Also, you can see uh, the queen is ill. Ask for your help. Venture to overload and seek out a cure. Got it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through here. We're going to gather as many resources as we can as we come through. And we are going to get out of here. And what I want to do is I want to make a, uh, a very small makeshift base like a one by one just something i can get a bed in maybe a workbench and just kind of figure out the game because um yeah there's a lot to this game there you go got it yep, i already showed him that m is the is the uh map key there you go with the world let's keep going um, i'm pretty excited about this game I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of grounded and uh you know another grounded type game sounds awesome as long as it does its own thing uh, bring something new to the table and so far this game does really not feel like grounded as you can tell i'm not some kid who got shrunk i'm like i don't know some little bug guy i'm the i'm a bug guy i guess yeah so once you once you can see the resources you don't really need to use the v key much at that point so uh bro's extensive underground tunnels incredibly um intricate multiple branches hundreds of directions it's like yeah got it got it got it got it go beautiful lots of resin i love it and oh here's some food i can grab thanks for the insight i'm assuming that's food uh oh feed creatures oh okay so it's not food for me fair enough all right i do have a wooden club and then i also have a simple bandage so that's good does that actually heal yes it does heal it's heal over time okay fair enough i don't think i can make those healing bandages so i'm gonna need i'm gonna need my workbench for that uh, I will make a builder's hammer. There we go. And this game does have an arachnophobia setting, so you know it's a good game if it has an arachnophobia setting. Like, hey, use this setting, you're gonna freak out. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to these guys. Yeah, they just tell me to talk to the owls. <laughs> Making a big mushroom right there, I love it. Alright. This reminds me of EverQuest 1 for some reason, like leaving one of the starting areas of one of the races. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. There's gonna be a lot of sticks over here, a lot of wood. I don't know. If, I don't think there's any differ entry, whatever. I, I don't know how to say that word. Um, I don't think there's any difference between wood and like wood or sticks or anything. Although I could be wrong. 
There could be like logs or something in the game. All right, talk to you. You lose health. All right, and you can heal yourself uh, by keeping yourself well nourished or sleeping. Okay. And what does this one have to say? Sprinting, sliding, dodging. Yeah, use the stamina to pay attention. Wait, sprinting, sliding, dodging. What's sliding? I don't know what that is. Dodging is with the uh, control key. So at least that's what I'm, that's my, you know. I, I don't know if that's actually dodging. I think it is. Though. It looks like dodging. Yeah. Yep, map, got it. I love the fact that you could read this stuff later. That's what I really like because like if I, you know, want to go through it later and, you know, maybe I missed something, probably did. But I also don't want to sit there studying the game in the first two minutes. I want to get out there and just kind of learn, you know? Armor provides protection. Some settlers in Overland have expertise to make new sets of armor. Yeah, this feels very... It feels very grounded, but in its own way, you know? Uh, make sure you eat drink. Yeah, the nurse will make you more resistant to... Uh, resist, resilient and energetic as well as stronger. And, oh, okay. Does it tell you how much you get for the food? This is my food. Yeah, 30. So I don't want to eat that until I'm at 70. Speaking of food, I wonder if food goes bad. Uh, blocks nourishment loss. Can feed creatures nourishment. I don't see anything about food going bad, so maybe it doesn't. This game is in early access. At least I'm assuming it is. I didn't actually look into that, but I'm assuming it's early access. Um, oh, dude, after you've talked to the um, effigies, the, the light goes out in their eyes. So you could remember which one you've, you've talked to. At least I think that's the case. Next uh, next hour I come across, I'll, I'll take a look at that. Go. Not sure I want to build my first base. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just make like a little outpost up here. Something to set a spot. Actually, this might be a good spot for it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll go farther along. We'll see. I'll just keep continuing. Yeah, look at the, the uh, eyes are glowing. And when you look at them, their eyes stop glowing. That's cool. Stay away from deep water. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is something I learned in my test game. I went into a river, and I promptly drowned. <laughs> or drowned. I don't know if it's drowned or drowned. Uh, so stay away from deep water. Small folk can't swim. Upon death, you respawn your activated bed or spawn location. Two so will appear you died. You must travel back to reclaim your inventory. But if I drowned, isn't the... Isn't my, like, tombstone going to be underwater? And look, there's water right here. Hey, try it out, Cage. No, I'm not going to do that. Grab that. Not sure how much of this stuff I actually need, but whatever. It's here. I don't know if it respawns. I don't know how to save in this game. Like, I don't know anything. I know you can't swim. That's <laughs> that's about the extent of my knowledge. All right, so you have to worry about temperature. And night creatures will... Well, night creatures will, will come out at night. And they are stronger than their day, daytime counterparts. Got it. All right, so am I supposed to go that way? That's into a cave. Let's go this way and see what's up here. Just hit this really quick. Yeah, a lot of stuff up here to loot. Uh, also, I read something in one of the uh, one of the owls that I did in my test game that said when you de when you destroy like a building thing, you get a hundred percent of the resources back. All right, so we got some butterflies. Um, that might be a good spot for a base. I don't know. I'm gonna go through this. Uh, I'm gonna go through this tunnel down here before I make a base. Um, oh, oh, dude, look. Um, my hunger bar has a little notch on it. I don't know what that notch means, but I'm gonna eat. I'm guessing that means well nourished and full stomach. Beautiful. Cool. Do I, is the other stuff I got food? I want to make sure it is. Resin, wood, berries. Yeah, nourishment eight. Okay. Not a lot of food, but it's got food. One thing I don't like about this game is you can't pause it. And any way I test that, you just jump, hit the escape key. Look, no pause. Unless there's a way to pause it that I'm not aware of. <laughs> I'm never a fan of that in any game I play. A lot of stuff to loot in this cave. I know I saw a lot of stuff. Oh, maybe I didn't see a lot of stuff. Well, I saw some resin. That's stuff. I'm technically not in the cave yet, I guess. Let's go into this cave and see what's what. I think this is where the guy is that I need to talk to. Yep, there he is. The Elder. All right, I'm going to go through all these options, but I'm going through I'm going to go through them quickly so that way if you don't care, you don't have to wait, and if you do care, you could just pause the video. It's win-win for everybody. And the cool thing is you don't have to like read all this stuff if you don't want to. 
because because hold on <laughs> that's everything i shall leave now because if you want to know what the quest is all about you just come up here and the jewel the clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing it may have been stolen it's just a nice wrap it all up you know if you're in a hurry or whatever and then we got troubling reports uh over then, the far as it seems that some of the creatures in the air become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out settlers to investigate their claims. And the settlers are marked on the map for me. Although that doesn't mean I know how to get to them. I think I think it's time to look time to make an outpost. I should be able to make an outpost without much trouble with all the resources I've gathered. Let's just kind of see how that goes. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna press eight to bring out my building hammer. And we need, but you can put down a bed, but you can't sleep unless you have like a building. So, uh, foundations, there we go. Foundations look pretty cool. I do have a lot of materials, that's nice. Our butterflies can't possibly be aggro, can they? He's looking at me. Or is that a moth? Can't tell. Alright, I'm going to assume they won't be aggro. And this will be a really nice place to build, uh, at least an outpost, because he's getting closer. <laughs> I'm afraid of the butterfly. Um, build, rotate, advanced, rotate. Oh, wow. Okay. So how does that work? Uh, right, I'm not going to play around with this. <laughs> I do like the fact there's an advanced rotate, because maybe you can make like a cool looking base. But for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. Let's go ahead and see if there's any stairs. I hope there's stairs, because I... Twig leaf stairs. Oh, okay. It goes on either side. But not in the middle, huh? Maybe advanced rotate will do something about that. All right, again, I'm not going to mess around with that. Let's just... Yeah, I don't... Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two foundations. And then we'll put the stairs on the second one, and that'll be like kind of like a little porch. And they are changing color, which leads me to believe there's some kind of structural integrity in the game. And we need a door. Again, this is just an outpost, guys. Nothing fancy. Is that the front, the, uh, the entrance? Yes, it is. Okay. Love the rotation. Love the obvious way that one is a, you know, that one thing is a inside part and one's the outside part. It's really easy to tell. I appreciate that. You know what? I'm going to make it. I'm going to make this a... Two, two by two. Just because. It shouldn't be too expensive. And it, it does have a nice little view here. I appreciate that. Alright, so now we need a building and windows. Because we gotta we gotta check out that view. Yep. So I I love the fact that it's so obvious which you know, the inside and the outside, which is which. It's very simple, very easy. I I love that. This here. And put this here. There's going to be a lot of windows in this place just because, I don't know. I think the windows look dope. And then regular wall. And a regular wall. And then we need a ceiling. So they have, okay, so they do have like roof roof pieces. So do that. Sure. Oh, this is great. It's coming out nice. I can afford it. It's not It's not like a one-by-one one like I was going to make. Oh, hold on. Maybe I spoke too soon. You need to be having some issues here. Oh, hold on. There we go. And then... This... Looks like it's got interesting snap points. Alright. There we go. It takes a little bit of, uh... You know, figuring out, but... Like, where the... How about this one? You know, oh, there it is. Beautiful. Now, are there railings? Uh, this is all the building stuff. I don't see anything about railings. There is floors, leaf corners. These are all like, uh, yeah, roof pieces. Roof chimney? Oh, interesting. Yeah, none of this stuff looks like any kind of railings. We get foundations, decorations. No, I don't see any railings. Okay, so a railing would be nice. I'm going to go ahead and put a simple bed in here. Just right there. And then we will set ourselves set ourselves a spawn point. There we go. 
And then I would like to make the uh, crafting table. And this is something I haven't made yet, the workbench. So let's see if we can make the workbench. Yes, we can. Mm. Ah, not enough room with the bed there. That's a bummer. I guess I could put it right here. That's fine. Yeah, it needs a lot of room. All right, that'll work. I don't think I need a chest just yet. Let's see what this thing does for me. Here we go. Here we go. So, oh, simple bandage. Beautiful. That's one thing I wanted to make. Uh, wooden club we already have. Wooden hatchet. Uh, crude hatchet. Uh, chitin. Wow, okay. Wood sword. Hey, I can make a wood sword. Is that better than the than the wood club I'm using? Uh, six to eight. Do we care about stamina? Probably. Anyway, that's six to eight damage to 20 stamina. I think those are the two stats I care the most about. Six to eight. Oh, it's the same exact. Wait. No, it's not. Eight to 11 for the same stamina cost. But yeah, that's a, that's an upgrade. That's definitely an upgrade. What about the bow? Uh, Yeah, I can get the... Okay. Pickaxe. Oh, boy. Cool. Ladybug travel kit. This kit includes special uh, treat to tame a ladybug, as well as backpack designed to attach to their four wings, providing additional storage space for ladybug. To wow, this game's pretty advanced for early access. I'm assuming it's early access. All right. Although this is a little bit limited. Like there's nothing like crazy I can make. It's just tools and weapons, but maybe there's an advanced workbench or something. I just stepped out and grabbed some more materials. Also, I see a stuff, bunch of stuff moving. I'm not sure if that's bugs down there. Or if it's the wind. I think it's the wind. But I'm going to definitely stay up here for the for the day and night. That's for sure. Alright, so I think the next thing I want to do is make a campfire. Wow, that's big. That's a giant freaking campfire, dude. Holy moly. I'm glad I made a freaking bigger base. Oh, a stone cutter. Nice. Alright, so I got the workbench. Can't make the stone cutter just yet. I'm going to make some pickaxes or something. Um, I think I'm going to grab some of these edible mushrooms. Uh, v is not working, probably because I have my hammer out. Yep, edible mushrooms. I don't know if stuff... Oh, you need a hatchet for that. Okay, well, that's good. I was wondering what I need a hatchet for, because in my test game, I made a hatchet, but I couldn't find anything to cut down with it. So, all right, let's come on up here. Oh, I don't have a door. Can you make a door? I didn't see a door anywhere. Hold on. I would like a door, please. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. And like so. Is that the same? Mm, which one's the inside? I feel like that should be the inside. But then again, I think the... Yeah, whatever. I'll just put the door down. <laughs> the heck with it. All right, I'm sheltered now. I'm not sure if I was sheltered before. What exactly does that do for you? Does it tell you? And then say... Oh, I lost my cursor. Oh, there we go. Okay. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and make a hatchet. Crafting wood hatchet. And we will put that as number two. And, oh, it's getting a little dark. I'm getting a little scared. Edible mushroom, baby. Again, I don't think stuff goes bad, so... Uh, did that automatically go in my inventory? I don't see it. No, it didn't. Is that it? Alright, three pieces? Is that it? I can't see. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna assume that three pieces is it. Uh, oh man, look at look at the death moths. Look at the frickin- Those are not butterflies. Those are death moths. Alright, I'm getting inside and sleeping. I don't want these death moths attacking my base. Alright, I'm not gonna sleep the heck with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, mushroom steak. Alright, ooh, 30 nourishment. Okay. A particular favorite of the elder due to its texture and rich, earthy flavor, nutrition, blocks, can feed... Okay, so it doesn't say anything about stuff going bad. So I'm going to assume stuff doesn't go bad. Where do I find grasshoppers at? Did it take three for one? Did it... Oh, the mushroom steaks are what I started with, too. So it just went there. So it's like three for one. That sucks. I don't know if I saw it. I, I thought it would be like one for one. I, w I wonder if you could eat the mushrooms, like... Separate. Also, I'm gonna sleep and see if it does anything to my, uh, to my nourishment and everything. Achievement unlocked. Getting some shut eye. Yep, it definitely lowered everything. Might as well eat a couple of these too. 
Okay. All right, now what? Is it raining? Oh, it sounds like it's good. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, that's awesome. What is next on the old agenda? I'd like to make that sword if I can. So what did I need for the sword? Uh, I can make the sword, cool. Beautiful. Put this club down here, put the sword up there. A uh, simple bow. Oh man, I need more wood. See, I don't think there's any more wood up here and I, I don't know if it respawns. It hasn't respawned yet if it does. Oh, here's some wood. It's probably not gonna be enough though. Dude, Green, you scared the crap out of me, Green Owl. Precep uh, precipitations, rain and snow can damage structures. Make sure you construct there properly. Oh wow. Oh okay. So this is a little bit um a little bit of Icarus here. And there. And oh, a ladybug. Let's kill the ladybug. If I can. Oh, ladybug. Yep, you're done. Beautiful insect fat, insect eggs. Sorry if it's a little dark. Should be um get brightening up soon. Uh, let's see, let's see what that stuff says. Uh, so we have resin, insect fat. Yeast flavored. Oh, for cooking. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Kill some more. There is like a super attack you can do. Uh, it's it's default is F, but I don't like. I'm mean, sorry. There's a super attack you can do. It's default is right mouse button. I changed it because the block button was F, and I hate F as a block button, so I changed block to right click, and F does my super attack. I usually don't use super attack, so I like to be a little bit faster, a little bit lighter on my feet, but. Let's take a look around. Uh, oh, resin, okay. I need wood, darn it. Come back here! Damn, these guys are quick. I don't like the ladybugs and ground, I tell you that. Kind of the opposite. Whoa, what's up here? Oh, ants, ants, ants. Ants, ants, ants. Ants, ants, ants. Uh, all right, here we go. There we go, ants. Ants, you die. What is that? Oh, ant heads, beautiful. There we go. I can make ant food now. There we go. The game's brightening up. I was hoping it would brighten up. I'm gonna have to like brighten that up in editing, because uh, I was thinking it might brighten up eventually, but it kind of never did. All right. In there. Uh, what is this? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna stay away. I'm gonna stay away. Collect some more wood. That's what we need. Yeah, the ants. Um, when I, I I fought those ants in my test game, I had the club and they almost killed me. Um, but the sword is way better than the club. Make yourself a sword ASAP. All right, let's come down here. Look around. I wish there was a time. Is it? Does it show the time anywhere in the game? I'm not noticing. I'm not seeing it. Uh, map there. Codex, yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, on the map is that? Yeah, that's the time. Okay, fair enough. I was I was looking for a number, <laughs> but <laughs> they'll give you a number. Oh, that's a big ant. I don't know if I could take this ant. All right, a bull ant. Why well, you gotta be a bully, bro? Uh, all right, I'm just going. There we go. All right, that guy messed me up bad. Well, let's use some of these to heal up. How many hit points is that again? Uh, three per second for ten, uh, 30 hit points. Okay, great. That's a decent amount, actually. I'm gonna have to go back and make more, though, pretty soon. Do not go in the water, people. Trust me on that. If you don't believe the owl, believe me. 
Do not want to go in that water. You will have no fun. All right, there's another bull ant. Um, we're not full hit points. Eh, screw it. Let's go. Let's do it. If I die, I respawn in my bed, and I gotta come back and get my corpse. Or my stuff, I should say. Is that another bull ant? It looks a little different. I don't know where he's going. Hmm, okay. <laughs> you can see he doesn't want to tangle. He saw what I did to his buddy, that's what it is. Oh, that's a big ant down there. Oh! Is that like an ant hill? I can't go into it. Oh, boy! Alright, yeah, it is a bull ant. Alright, there we go. Swing, swing, swing! Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and heal up some more. Take the ant head. I'm gonna get back to base and see if I've opened up any new crafting recipes. They might have actually popped up and I just missed them. Uh, I would imagine that I will have some more crafting recipes, but we'll just have to see. So far, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm digging the game. Uh, I, it's really, like I, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is early access. and um, But I'm having a good time with it. I like early access. I know a lot of people don't. Um, I love early access because as long as it's done right, you know, it's like having ye a couple of years, may maybe multiple years of just updates and updates. And the game's like a brand new game. Every time there's an update, you get excited. I love that stuff, man. That stuff is the best for me. I know not everyone agrees, and that's fine, but um, I'm really excited about this game. Let me know if you guys are excited about the game as well in the comments. Any tips are always more than welcome. I always want to uh, play. Oh, look at my house from over here. Oh, man, that's so cool. It's a pretty decent house. Like, it's not a grind. Like, I don't feel it's grindy. Like, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it more than I thought I was going to, if I'm going to be uh, perfectly honest with you guys. So let's see what we got up here in the crafting table. Okay. Simple bandage. Well, we need some more of these, that's for sure. Uh, wood hatchet, crude hatchet. All right, none of this looks new. Um, I will make a pickaxe for the next... Uh... Oh, you actually need stuff. Oh, so you actually need to kill the ants for the pickaxe. All right, cool. So we got a pickaxe coming in. Um, I am going to want to make a bow. We'll probably do that next episode. Oh, so I really didn't open up too much stuff. Too many. Actually, I don't think I opened up anything. But that's okay. We got ourselves a pickaxe. We had a good time. Fought a few ants. I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.